There are stark warnings for the northeast about how it's set to be impacted post-coronavirus. Well, as the pandemic continues, so do the redundancies, with the Office for National Statistics suggesting one of the worst affected areas from unemployment will be our region. The COVID-19 case rate for our part of the world is continuing to rise, and so is the unemployment rate. With the likes of Cleveland and Redcar seeing the number of people competing for each job in the region almost doubling from 20 to 39. That means almost double the number of people are vying for the same job as before. Following the snap general election back in December, a new set of Conservative MPs were elected to Westminster in former Labour heartlands with their pledge to level up these areas and invest in the forgotten towns. We are going to unite and level up. Unite and level up. But it seems with the current pandemic, we may be waiting longer than ever with such a big strain on the UK's economy. It's not just red car we're talking about though, Middlesbrough has now seen the highest death rate outside of London. Look back to over six weeks ago and a think tank warned that the Teesside town was the local authority area most at risk from coronavirus and they weren't wrong. We've since seen Middlesbrough become a hotspot for COVID. It comes as more stats from the ONS reveal a clear link between higher levels of deprivation and higher levels of coronavirus mortality. But where do we go from here? Well, a recent poll by YouGov, commissioned by Sky News, suggested only 27% of people think life will be much the same as it was before the pandemic, whilst far more, 59%, said it will be significantly different. Well, one thing's for sure, though, the eyes of many will remain on the northeast as we slowly begin to return to the new normal post-coronavirus.